Welcome everybody, I'm Jay Hart Ellis, and today I'm going to be touring a bunch of lovely libraries, housing contest entries, both on PCNA and PCEU. It was open for a screenshot contest in our spicy Discord, we do monthly contests there for both fashion and housing, and then a lot of people also invited me to come and visit during this tour here. So we're going to go and visit a bunch of homes and see some lovely libraries and fantastic entries from the Discord. So that would have just been a little bit of a screenshot, a little bit of a snippet, and we'll get to see these a little bit more in depth as we tour through right now. So we'll go here, th starting in Lyceum Child's Pantherfang Chapel. And I'll glug for chat here. Good, good, good. So these big bookcases are a fantastic way to get started with a library. They have grand full bookcases with most every chapter anymore, and they really are a good starting point. And then if you put multiple of them together and kind of dress it up, you can have a nice scholarly archive like this. So it's quite, quite a lot of books in here and a good way of having the seating and everything. We'll have about 10 houses to visit today. It'll be a relatively quick thing, and mostly it'll just be kind of going and seeing their screenshots in person, so it'll be relatively quick. Little tasty bites of lovely libraries. Nearly any home can benefit from having a library in it. It's the Elder Scrolls. It's all about the lore and the books. The scrolls, right? The scrolls. Forbidden Knowledge. And we'll have Necrom coming up soon, too, with Hermaeus Mora and Apocrypha and just realm full of piles of books and everything. So I'm excited to see what that's going to be like, too. Actually, was the inspiration for this. I was kind of like, I kind of want to see the, some libraries before we get just a deluge of those sorts of furnishings. So this is fantastic. I love kind of all the gold trim throughout. Matches really well. Makes it feel... You know, kind of upscale, but, you know, a little reserved here. Scholarly. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. And we'll see more as we continue along. House of the Silent Magnifico. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yesterday I finished, um, I hit 3,000 CP just yesterday. I was excited about that. Joining a small club. Goal, goal to get the 3600. Okay, House of the Silent Magnifico from Azalea Stone. They say it will be upstairs. Yeah, a lot of houses will have like n different sections, right? So they might have, you know, welcoming areas, living rooms, kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, and a library. And I think I'm getting booted from the server. This is not a happy screen to see. It's a pretty, it's a pretty little painting, yes. But it indicates something went wrong. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, happy joys of trying to VOD things. I don't know why I've been having a lot of load screen issues anymore. It better let me in. I'm gonna... We're gonna chill here. Let's just dwell on thoughts of happy, lovely libraries. Azalea Stone's library, obviously a little too lovely for the server to handle. VOD. Uh, I think it stands for Video On Demand. It means it's recorded and you can go and skip through it. Wiley says, I went to the Discord and looked at the screenshots. They're so pretty. I, right. The, 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 I love this format, too, because people can frame things exactly how they want to, so they can capture the screenshot exactly how they intend for it to be seen, right? You can change the gamma or whatever, get the exact angle that you want, good lighting. Uh, maybe they have pets or mounts or character pathing. They can get it exactly how they want it to be for a screenshot. Before this, I had normally been going through and getting my own screenshots and putting them up on my website. But that's still a good resource. Thousands of pictures up on my website to get some housing inspiration. Ba 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 ba. 
Yeah, I could make the voting thing a complicated edited thing, but that's not worth the trouble. <laughs> maybe eventually, maybe eventually. I used to VOD a lot of things and put, like, multiple videos up on YouTube every week, but it just wasn't worth the trouble. I'd rather move and do more events and organize more things and spend three times as long as it takes to organize the event just to edit a video. Ba 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 ba. Unless if I hired somebody to do it, but that would be long-term goals. Wouldn't be profitable. <laughs> that, that, I know. Uh, be a big community endeavor. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else to try to get back in, but without it bugging out this time? I should probably wait. Did I get my cart? Nope. <laughs> Where did I drop my car off? Um, 12 days ago? 12 days ago. It's been a frustration. What are they doing to it? Very well, nothing. That's been the problem. Will you get today? I don't know. I said it, they said for sure it would be ready today. And it called me. Anyway, I, I, I didn't want to bring this into this. Anyway, I'll just plan on keeping this on my website. <laughs> oh, J Heart goes bits for 20 minutes on a lovely li library tour. Um, okay, Azalea Stone said it's up on their second floor. And a, a lot of these houses will have a lot of other things besides their library as we go through, but I'm going to focus just on the libraries. Oh, this is really nice. A little touch of Merkmeyer here. Okay, library up on the second floor. There's a bedroom. Probably on the other side then. Oh, there we go. That's. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, great way of using the grand Merkmeyer bookcases. And then... We have flower planters with... Decor inside. That's so perfect. That's so perfect. I love that. I've I've done some flower arrangement contests before here on the channel, and I've always said, you know, if you're if you're putting you know flowers in something, think about putting other non-floral things in there, like crystals or wood or things like this, um, and. I haven't really seen very many people take that to heart. So this is amazing to see these totems as part of the flower arrangements because they fit so perfectly. Um, they actually had this... Um, oh, at the local museum, they had a, like, art in bloom challenge where they would have artists, like, have take a painting and make make a flower arrangement based off of that. And lots of times it would incorporate, you know, real objects into it, like pottery and things like that, and, uh, uh, rocks and wood and things like that. So oh, this is this is really nice. I think it really meshes well and blends well together and makes it feel very customized, personalized here. It's gorgeous. So if you're ever making a flower arrangement, maybe think about doing some structural pieces in it as well. It looks fantastic because you get all those Merkmeyer colors in there and then you kind of see them within the flowers as well. Am I over, over explaining this? It looks nice. <laughs> it, looks, it looks nice. Anyway. That's kind of like the one thing that drew, drew, drew me in. But the, the, all, all the rest of everything with the library itself is really fantastic as well. It's a great study area. You have these little bits of Reminders of Merkmeyer about I like how the shelves are modified with a lot of crystals. Seems like they're doing, you know, soul soul gem research or enchanting research of some sort with a lot of crystals about. Bit of magical feel to it. 
Beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. I like the subtle lighting here with the little lantern here on the stick. Calendar up above just matches everything really well. And uh, modifies the texture of the home a lot. Otherwise, it would be fairly open up above. Kind of closes it in, makes it feel a little bit more like a nice, tight, cozy space for studying. Awesome. Thank you, Azalea Stone. I really like it. Next up, Lepidoptera. GGG. Must be Colin Griffin Garrett. It's <laughs> Gems and Eggcracker. Lovely room to just sit and enjoy a team or scuba. Yeah, it, reading and relaxing, having a nice cup of tea or whatever. Clear your mind or just focus. Okay, so using the entirety of the Golden Griffin Garrett here, it's only 30 items you can put in here, so how do you make a nice study area in the library, right? And very brown and gold is kind of the theme here. It matches the lighting that comes in. Wow, they, they put the sun out there. <laughs> and yeah, great uh, match with the colors. Hmm, something special about that rock. Wonder what? Wonder what? I think these are kind of a more basic chair style. It's a Leia win. They're still like weirdly expensive to craft. Matches the bookcase. You know, more subtle feel to it. I was supposed to start streaming at 3.30. Was the plan was right after we announced the winners. How they get the glow in the window? So what they must have is they must have. I can actually pull up the list. Uh, this is a new feature. If you go to the item list, they are going to have this miniature sun, and it must just be like barely outside the window, and it so the light is bleeding in here. So... Oh, you notice how intricate and detailed the ESO furnishings can be? Only notice after a GPU upgrade. Low, blurry, low resolution. R right. And things have mostly gotten better with that over the years. Where when Homestead originally launched, everything was a little fuzzy. And some of that could have just been my computer graphics at the time, but I, I think even then they were kind of on the higher end. But um, anymore, whatever they're releasing furnishing-wise tends to be really high res and looks nice. Um, and the only exception on that would be, like, luxury furnishings, because they're kind of still working through, through, like, an old catalog of things for their luxury furnishings, I feel, sometimes. But beyond that, anything that they're releasing with new chapters and things like that always tends to look pretty nice. And even some of the later things look pretty nice. Um, let me go on to the next home. And they just had a texture update with Scribes of Fate, kind of like you could opt into it. Or I think you have to opt out of it. Um, where it kind of increases the textures at the sake of performance. You can you can turn it off if you like, though. But I've noticed that it really helps with the reflections, and everything kind of feels a little brighter. So, uh, yeah, housing housing looks um, really great anymore. Which is always kind of a... Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so, Moon Mirth from Onyx Orb. It's really clever how you have the snow fall down. That's that's the big bridge, isn't it? Oh, that looks amazing. It's like a soft little snow drift. Yeah, when housing started, it was always more about, like, squint your eyes and use your imagination, and everything is so realistic anymore that... I kind of hope it hasn't lost some of its magic, but I, I think that's still kind of the idea of it. And I still always say to kind of do that. If, if somebody's going for a really creative build, kind of just envision what they were going for. You know, resolution and... 
color funkiness aside. This is an amazing, amazing, beautiful scene here. I'm, let me focus on that. Wow, this is this is so incredible. I don't remember these curtains having picking up the light so well on the bottom. So it seems to be a little bit of like a seaside feel as well. So there must be maybe we're like in a bay or something, and the snows here because there's a lot of uh, nautical things within the bookcases. I always like to see. So maybe maybe we're in like a port town and a forest and a bay. However you want to do it, think about it. These could just be trinkets from adventures. Yeah, so the bookcases tend to have little gaps in them between the books. They're pretty full, so it makes things feel nice and, you know, m busy and v full and decorated. But then you have these spaces where you can modify them and add statuettes and kind of flavor it a little bit how you like. Now, I like how they put the weird bloom in, the, in that. That would actually been kind of difficult to isolate that. That looks really nice. A little magical. You put at an angle, it's clever. The rest of it's behind the bookcase. And we have a drink stand here, too. This is probably how Onyx Orb's office looks in real life. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> Just imagine. No, I, I love these way over the top fantastical types of builds where you just think of what would I do if I had like a big mansion office and could just enjoy enjoy the snowfall. Moonlit Path Bridge. Right, that was from the Crown Crates from a couple seasons back. It's amazing how, how good this like um, fireplace looks too. The shield up above from the High Isle Delve Quest. It's kind of an awe. It's so cozy. It's so cozy. Come sit and make yourself a variety of drinks. And just enjoy life. I was raced on Crown Crates for that one. I see. Wraith Wraith Tide. Is it Wraith or Wrath? I remember at one point they had the wrong wording on it. A variety of drinks. Let's see, what do, what do we have? Oh, it looks like maybe tea. And booze. <laughs> Mostly. Okay, good. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. And this is using, you know, fewer than 200 items in Moon Mirth. Which is kind of crazy that it's that many. <laughs> it's 152 here. Okay, a lot of details. Okay, well, we'll just keep moving right along here. Turk Blue. Let me cycle it back. Oh, they, they tend to. They tend to cycle crown crates. This is Onyx Orb. Onyx Orb Moon Mirth. You can see it in the top corner. That's just always there, by the way. Eyes might glaze over it. That's a feature that they added. I've decided to leave it on for these. You can toggle it off from the menus if you like, but I kind of like to have it there just so that people know better. Okay, Sir Dog Jungle House, Trick Blue. Looking for a library. Must be inside. It's a little bit of a spooky vibe going in. It's a little bit of a. That's not quite as spooky inside. A couple creepy things up on the walls. Otherwise, again, we have a nice, good, modified study area. Oh, I have a guar. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, oddities from adventures. Looks like they're studying. Nice and busy. I love the... Um, Papers from the Fargrave Home Goods vendor, like nice and cluttery, so you can make it look like 
people are in a rush and not cleaning up after themselves. Good density on these. Seems like some of these are the solitude bookcases. Those are really nice ones. They're actually really quite affordable to craft as well. One thing I love about housing with bookcases is like every single zone update has had like a full bookcase as of late, maybe even multiple. Um, it's, it's been nice. Usually part of world building, I suppose, with um, how they use models with the bookcases. And, you know, again, Elder Scrolls is all about the uh, lore and everything. So you go and you discover new lore books by reading things from the bookcases. So most new zones will have bookcases in a unique style. Curious if Necrom will. I'm, I'm imagining Necrom will have an insane amount of different types of book furnishings, including like Daedric style stuff. Okay, fun, fun place. And it's fun to have the little pets padding around, kind of adding to the chaos here. Papers everywhere, pets about. Magical mysteries to be discovered through the research. Lots of fun, lots of fun. Okay, and we'll just continue right along. Thank you, thank you. Autumn Wolf, Domus. Paper Clutter's nice. Paper Clutter everywhere. <laughs> Okay, they call this build the matchbook. Matchbook, not something you would want to normally associate with uh, libraries. Seems a little dangerous. Let's see what I mean by that. Ah, oh, it's pr pretty high aisle druidic stuff. I will assume it's inside. Usually a good place to keep books inside. Oh, I see. Oh, it's like a little, it's a little Precursor to Apocrypha. <laughs> Big cluttery with a watcher. Okay, magical mayhem here with all the Fargrave books. Adric books being isolated. Did they use the very top of a bookcase just for this? Wait, what book is this? They did something clever with isolating that one book. Okay. Shield as a fire grate is good use. Yeah, the shield very versatile. It's a gallery item that you unlock by doing a quest as well, so you can use it in multiple houses. Love the augmented bookcase. Lots of different things to fit the nook well. Like, there's a big square nook right there, so you can put some taller things in it. Hourglass is a good, good choice there. Matches the gilded look from everything else. Fancy. Messy. There might be more up above. Ooh, ooh. Secret. Secret behind the bookcase. Do I go explore the secret? I thought there'd be more library up above. Oh, here's where we have a, a gaming hall. Secret secret gaming hall up above. I see, I see. Might be a little illicit. Maybe some illegal gambling going on up there. Fun, fun, fun. The library was all a front. Gambling den behind the secret door. Yes, yes. Den is a good word. Wish I could have afforded a million book, big book piles. Make a book maze? Oh. I feel like with Necrom, they have like those, from what we could see from the preview, they have like these big spirals of books and like archways and things, like just walls and walls. I'm hoping we get some good like structural book furnishings where it's just like plastered, <laughs> like books everywhere. Big spires and towers of books. People could make mazes and whole homes out of them. 
literal book mazes in that realm. Exactly, exactly. So, be a little over the top, but they're fun. I, I love these book piles. Remember one leaked onto the guild trader system somehow it was like a tradable version that sold for like 10 million gold. <laughs> so, made me wonder. Made me very popular. Wondering if they'll keep blurring the lines there. I can hope they do. Okay, short T Grand Sigic Villa. Love short T's builds. Okay, so Short T has a slightly magical university library. S slightly magical. Book pillars and book walls. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Well, we got a lot of people here for a midweek early stream. I'll have to do some big giveaways after we finish the tours here. I think people like libraries, yes? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go inside hard to go wrong i i would kind of hope everybody aspires to have like a library in their own home if you don't already or as, as you get older build towards one my uh, oh i don't know how i can talk about that uh my my mother loves books and her only request ever whenever they're adding anything like, like she just wants to clear out more and more and more rooms from my childhood home and just like convert them into bookcases. <laughs> like she just has so many books, um, and never enough, never enough space for books. Which is which is awesome. It's awesome. That's probably a good mentality to grow up into. Oh, this is oh, slightly magical. Slightly magical. Only slightly. Only a little bit of flo floaty levitation going on. Oh, I like how they have the planters here, too. Well, it's like the entire the entire building is a library. Cool, cool, cool. So it's not just one room. It's like I when I was um, over um, in in at university. Um, not a phrase I normally would use. Um, they had just constructed a new library there. There poured like millions into it. It was kind of really cool. It looked really kind of ugly on the outside because it was all concrete. But, um... It was fine. I wonder how it looks anymore. It looked... Anyway. Inside, it was really interesting because it was had, like, really big open areas and, like, these, like, floating steps going up the floors. And they're just room after room after room of, uh... bookcases, right? And so... <laughs> so over the top. Oh, I love this. It's like a living area. So maybe, maybe we have... Um, these would be related to uh, nature and things. Wow, this is so pretty. I don't know where I was going with that, but, you know, a, like a library, you can think of it as an old dusty thing. Or maybe maybe smaller ones. I actually... Oh, man, I should, I should relate more things. Um... Over across from the elementary school growing up, there was a little tiny um, book, not a bookstore, a library. You would rent books from there or borrow books from there. And I would do some volunteer work there sometimes. So I did that quite a lot, actually. Um, I don't think I had to do it for any particular reason. I think I just like being there. Um, so... I remember what I did. I think I mostly helped reach out books and stuff like that. Maybe cleaned a bit. Um, anyway, so it was very small. It was very small. You just had, oh, maybe they had 20 bookcases full of mostly um, kids' books. Or even lots of um, 
you know, picture books and things like that for, like, real young kids. Though, picture books aren't just for real young kids, right? I, th I think my mom would agree with that. <laughs> she, she, has a, she has a lot of picture books. Um, uh, it's always good to mix words and, and art together, right? Is it, uh, those are Caldecots, the Caldecots that have all the um, amazing art. You can get a lot of those kind of cheap because they end up being very popular, so they mass print them. Then you can enjoy some good stories. Been known to buy picture books if I like the art. Lots of, lots of adult picture books out there. I don't know if that's the right terminology. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go to the go to the little cafeteria here. I love this. I love this. Pop-up books. Those are always fun. You open them up and like it makes a three-dimensional thing. Gra graphic no they're called graphic novels. Yes. Okay. Good. Wait, they might actually be. We're <laughs> blurring the lines here. No. Okay. Sorry, sorry for the distraction. Anyway, so I'm I'm a big fan of libraries too. Though I, I imagine most everybody has interacted with a library in some way or another. But um, I did quite a bit of schooling, and um, I always appreciated my uh, I always appreciated having lots of uh, books to read growing up. I did that too. Oh man, I was thinking about that. Um, I spent a lot of time in, the, like, the elementary school libraries, too. They would have these, um, reading contests, and I always had to be, like, number one on them. I don't think I was reading them in the way that they ought to be read <laughs> most of the time. I was probably going through too quick quickly. Um, anyway. Reading pages for the... Pa pa pages was probably a bad way of measuring reading, but I've always tried to, like, read a lot. Anyway, I don't know if you have, if you have, you have kids or, uh, grandkids or nieces, nephews, or, you know, neighbors or anything, you know, encourage them to read, right? Give them something that they think you'll, they'll like. How much did you miss? Um, most of it? <laughs> this is house 8 of 10. No, I have three left. I have three left. Yeah, so Short T has a uh, slightly magical university library, and it is amazing. I've just kind of been going around. I kind of haven't been keeping track of which rooms I've been going into, which is terrible, because I've just been enjoying it so much. Oh, we have the old spooky section. What do I have on the other side? Uh, oh, just... Oh, this head's kind of barren. Okay, good. Loving this place. Okay, thank you, thank you. I love the idea of using the Eleanor greenhouses to break up the interior of the Grand Sigic Villa. It actually fits really, really well there, and it kind of just creates this extra little kind of secluded space. It's a little bit more blocked off, right? But you can tell it's very purposeful to go in and visit. And go grab a drink here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Rotti. Okay, we're Dum Dum Jar. No, good, all good. Lovely, lovely libraries. Spooky home up next. Or is it just for the lighting? Top floor. Well, Doomchar doesn't have floors. They must have a custom structure. I don't know. What are your thoughts about books? Eh. <laughs> no, no. I don't read much anymore. I, I need to find a good way to encourage myself to read, though. That's been an error on my part to not be reading very much. We could start a spicy book club or something. Maybe that wouldn't be the worst idea. Oh, is 
they how wow they took this you know kind of spooky doom char and then they really softened it up with all the plants and music box and everything well i'm going to focus on the library if i can find it i will go look for stairs up if i can oh they, they used a lot of tables to make this book this, this staircase okay it must be here is this it I see books. I'm, I'm going to go look on the Discord to make sure this is what they intended for it to be. Because it looks good. I just want to make sure that I don't have like a second second one somewhere. Remember the screenshot? The stairs are nice. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, there we go. This is right. Okay. They, ha they took a screenshot from about right here. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Ba, ba, ba. If you find one that I like, I'll read for hours. Kobo, help me to read more often. Hard to find books that interest you. Apps on the phones. I never really got into audiobooks, so would that be a better way to go about things? I always felt like audiobooks were a s slower way of going about it, because it can, you can read faster than you can listen normally. Ba 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 ba. Fun, fun, fun. Other scrolls novels. Oh, they, they have books. Oh, that, speaking of, my, my mother for Christmas had sent me a whole, like, a, every single Elder Scrolls book that she could find on Amazon. <laughs> so I have, a lot. I have some reading to do at some point. Get some good lore in. Anyway, from where we have, I love the color here, you know, really rich with the, the, the deep coloring with the wood and the vampiric reds and the nice obsidian look from the Deadlands style furnishings. So, kind of a vampiric feel overall, but not like crazy intimidating, right? We have, we even have a skeleton, but even that's, you know, up and hoisted away and kind of not scary. Oh, he just barely got a Discord notification? It's been an hour. That's weird. Anyway. Love look, books, but got tired of lugging large library around when I moved. So eight years ago, I switched to digital books and donated all but a few hundred real books to Goodwill. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. A few hundred. <laughs> a few. Uh, all but a few hundred. I, I see. I see. I think it's a lot. Like holding a nice hardcover book, much more satisfying to physically close a book when you're done reading than just turning off an audiobook. Oh, the ivy? Oh, yeah, the ivy certainly softens it up, too. Yes, yes. That's that's actually a really good point. Um, any, generally, things associated with vampires, everything else is kind of dead around it, right? So the green from the ivy indicates that life is okay here. It's welcome here. Yeah, Come and not die here. This is this is nice and welcoming. Enjoyed the special collectors' books they released for the Elder Scrolls that are basically in the form of journals of different characters. Yeah, I think those might be what I got. I should. They're long, but they're. It'd only be like a minute per page to read them. Probably I could I could burn through them in a week if I really put my mind to it. Maybe I will. Oh, anyway, I'm thinking about... This is inspiring me. This is actually... This is awesome, because... <laughs> it's like you see these amazing builds in people's houses, and a lot of it is going to draw from maybe what they like in real life as well, and then maybe that inspires you to go and, like, you know, like... Have good hobbies, and learn more and see more and do more and great great thank you were okay so final home on pcna and then i'll hop over to pceu which will take a few minutes unfortunately but um strand springs lights and tables there 
amazing details all around. Greg Keyes has good novels for Elder Scrolls novels. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, a few more lovely libraries. And then we'll do a little break after that for the stream. Okay, uh, something about a tapestry, eh? I will assume it's inside. Did you miss your house? Yes, you did. <laughs> it was amazing. Grims, I loved it uh, with the snowfall. And make yourself a cup of tea. It was uh, it was beautiful. It was shockingly good. Okay, so we have a home. It's very elsewhereified. We have Khajiit aplenty and sweet rolls and but I see this tapestry hanging down, hanging low here. What is this about? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to go check something out. Oh, oops, I, f I, I screwed up. Over in Short T's home, they said that they had a secret as well. I don't remember how to, I didn't see it though. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh well. Uh, I could I could go pop back. Maybe it was behind. Tap tap. May, maybe this tapestry. Uh, maybe this one. I'm looking for books. Where are my books at? I think a secret remains a secret. Apparently. Okay. If I were a. a a hit, I'm, something about a hidden tapestry. Ugh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Aha! Maybe. Okay, looking for books. Books, I find none. Books, books. Happy little book, happy little book, happy little book. Happy little book, happy little book, happy little book. I just need one book. No, I need multiple. The library needs a couple. Uh-oh. Maybe it's outside. Uh-oh. Blue one besides... Oh, oh, da okay. I didn't want to go over there because Costco's a little scary. Oh, wait, this one? Oh! Just slip on... Oh, there's a little sneaky thing. Ha 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 ha! Okay, we'll go out back. <laughs> Oh, ooh, blue tapestry was a little bit of a nod to how blue this would be. Well, fantastic. I have found the library. It's much bigger than I was expecting. I was going to be happy with, like, three books on the shelf. Fant uh, we got more than three books. Watch a lot of my YouTube, just want to mention that your housing videos are always some of my absolute favorite. Well, thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Let's see. Ooh, secrets? Secrets in the orb? Maybe? Oh, I can't smash. I like how you left a space up above to have the flowers up above instead of just completely closing it off. Adds to the moodiness of it. Enchanted. Wow, that is a lot of book. This is crazy. Makes me wonder about who is working here with all of the blue magic and the mushrooms growing in. If that was, you know, Khajiit, maybe it would be with the blue. Maybe it's like a like a Droa Mothra. We have kind of black and blue as a theme. Dro Droa Mothra themed library. Could be just a coincidence. Maybe they just like the color scheme. Yes. Was that yes? Okay. Good. 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 
good deduction on my part. Yay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, keeping with the Khajiit and the themes here. Cool, cool. I'm glad it wasn't just, like, random, right? Right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Random's good, too. Okay, thank you, Shadow's Assassin. This was a, a fun secret to find here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so now I have one final home on PCEU. There's one issue with that, though. The issue with that is that there's going to be a three-minute delay when I lag out, log out here. When I lag out. Um, so we'll just kind of shoot the breeze for three minutes. Yeah, you know, if, if you want, you can go on a quick bio break. I could go on a quick bio break. That way I can just go right into other stuff when I get back in. Uh, that's not a bad idea. I meant you? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, this is just going to be how these um, tours are going to be anymore because they implemented a three-minute cooldown between logging in servers here. So I will get over to EU in three minutes. So let me take a bio break. And anybody that's here in Twitch chat, let's do an extra 300,000 gold giveaway. So get a move in to qualify for that. And we'll be right back. Move. Wait another minute for the server. Probably actually have like a counter. Okay, let's do that. 300,000 gold giveaway. Well, I was paying attention to the time on the clock, but that's going to be off by up to a minute. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and draw for it. 300,000 gold bonus Twitch chat winner is Grow Pally. Good win, good win. Okay, let's go ahead and log in and hopefully it's been three minutes. We'll find out. I hope it doesn't give me another three minutes if I do it too early. Crow, crow to dark. I'll wait another minute. So I hope it doesn't restart the three minutes. Does it restart the three minutes? Trade the gold for onesie change. Oh. Haven't thought about how to do that. <laughs> uh, anyway. Not sure why they did this. What I could do for these tours is I could actually log on a different character if I were to log into a different account, but on a different server. It allows that, but not the same account. Time to put on the call Apple's choice lol. Okay. Let me wrap up the tours here though. I'll put on an outfit for you after after we visit Black Razor's home. 
Okay. Could have done that during the break. <laughs> uh oh. Three minutes? Three minutes? It wasn't quite three minutes. Okay, Black Razor has a Pilgrim to rest. Black Razor was also one of the, voted one of the top three winners here as well. Had a great screenshot, yes. So Black Razor is an artist, and... has done a lot of amazing work for me. Including a lot of my emotes, which has been fun. It was a little different for her. Hammerhead. I'll be Hammerhead Shark later. Okay, good. That'll be appropriate for Jester's Festival. Let's see. Wait, what, what were all those? There's a lot of them. Ba -ba 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 Happy Black Razor emotes. A lot of them. A lot of them. <laughs> Good deal. And she made this cozy little nook here. Oh, the little guar. Okay, good. Black Razor Pilgrim's Rest. I, I got some art from her from, for my birthday as well. I wanted to show that off. Did this in an in-room? Yeah, this is just 30 items. Goes a little nook under the stairs. That's a great way of breaking it up. Wait, how did I just... What the? Huh. That's really interesting. It must be because it's so close to the door, right? Must be a bug because it's so close to the door. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I can't actually go up there. I want to go up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> go look down. Anyway, um, well, that's that's uh, yeah. The composition on this is absolutely incredible. So it's not a lot of furnishings, but it's really dense and then uh, densely decorated and cozy, obviously. And again, go doing a good job with the gilded. Trim, trimmings on a lot of this, and so you have like the Leo Wind furnishings, you have the tea kettles, even the nice glow from the edges of the books really just pops through. And so it ties it all together, makes it feel nice and bright here. Painting back there really... It really helps to brighten everything up. Awesome, awesome. Happy bows, happy bows. I have a happy bow. Very pretty. A a amazing. I think I'm sit here and read a book. It's a little nook, little reading nook. I guess a couple hundred books isn't more than just a couple of uh, bookcases. Yeah, Block Razor, uh, Pilgrim's Rest up in the corner there. It's only 30 items, can you believe it? I like the use of the wedding trellis in the in the window. Black Racer! Of love. 34 months. Three. Moo of love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super appreciate it, Black Racer. I'm going to show some of your art here. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up here for um, the website, though. So thank you, everybody, for the amazing, lovely libraries, contest entries. We'll continue to have fun here on the Twitch channel and on my spastyeconomics.com website and my YouTube channel going forward. So feel welcome to pop in there participate in contests and enjoy these and get get yourself into housing if you think this is something you'd enjoy so really fun really fun inspirational lovely lovely yes so have fun with housing have fun with eso and stay spicy move